of course, Beethoven always has been a great passion for me. And um, it's a big achievement for everyone to um, make a record of your interpretation of the, all the 32 Beethoven sonatas, which is similar to climbing up a Himalaya mountain for any pianist. First of all, because they're all very different, all 32, but also all uh, great pieces. And to be able to already to play it in a way where it's special and to um, make it on a CD, uh, you need a great team behind it. And uh, thank you for Pentaton for this great team. We were able to, I think, make a sound which is the best whatever an artist can wish um, with the team, uh, with vision and um, knowledge cultivated people. So this was an ideal team for any artist, I think. So Beethoven sonatas, are the, why the 32 Beethoven sonatas? First of all, because it's uh, like going on a trip with Beethoven on one instrument, but then you can see his dev development during his life. And um, since the keyboard has changed during his time, it's also historically very, very interesting to um, follow the development of the time and how Beethoven also changed his way of writing. So it was a challenging preparation how to study those pieces. There's one way, it's um, to study the Beethoven quartets, because it's always a condensed world of the music. It's such a perfect world with four instruments. So I studied the quartets, I studied the symphonies, and then tried to integrate it to the idea of on which instrument it has been played. And this time, by recording those sonatas. I had a close collaboration with our producer Wilhelm Helwig, who of course recorded those sonatas with all the greatest pianists already at Philip's time. And then we really thought, hmm, how would it sound on a pianoforte? And how can you make it as lively, but of course with using our modern instrument? And then came uh, Michel Brandis, who was really uh, great in helping to make the piano be the instrument really to make your dream happen. And um, we always had fun to spend 15 hours a day just searching and then trying and then finding our way. You are also a very good cook um, because you made even food for the team in Valdemont. Can you tell something about that? I believe that um, when you have good food, you have a better energy and inspiration as well. <laughs> so thank goodness, Walter Munde is a um, very special studio um, with uh, wooden acoustic, a little bit like in a church, but not as vibrant, but very similar spirit in, in the sense that we are all there just for music. And then it has a nice old kitchen. <laughs> so we all had our duty. Uh, Michel was uh, the one who went to look what's on the market on the day and we made, after the first run through, we made a menu and during lunch it was either a pasta with whatever was available, fresh on the market, asparagus time sometimes and sometimes it was Pfefferlinge. And then we usually had maybe salmon, because it's easy to find in, in Holland, chicken. And everyone brought different spices 